Are you constantly reacting to complaints that the site is down or getting reports of poor web-based application performance from your users? Diagnosing potential IIS issues before you start getting complaints is key to maintaining all of your mission-critical applications like SharePoint, Microsoft Dynamics, or Outlook's web access. My name is Mario Gomez, and I'm a SolarWinds engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be proactive in identifying performance issues with your IIS server. App Insight for IIS, a feature of Server and Application Monitor, is a turnkey solution for monitoring your IIS environment. It automatically monitors web server performance as well as websites and application pools running on your IIS server. You can determine what pages are taking the longest to be served and quickly remediate problems by stopping or restarting websites or app pools. Before you configure this feature, be sure to check the prerequisites. When prerequisites are missing, App Insight for IIS will go into an unknown state. This feature currently supports IIS versions 7.0 through 8.5 and Windows Server 2008-2008R2 or Windows Server 2012-2012R2. Also, you must have PowerShell 2.0 or higher installed on the IIS server and administrator rights must be granted. The easiest way to add this feature is through the discovery process. From the web console, navigate to Settings. In the Getting Started with Orion section, click on Add a Node. Fill out the information on the Define Node step and then click Next. On the Choose Resources step, check App Insight for IIS. App Insight applications have a unique blue and white icon, as shown. Click Next. When presented with the Add Application Monitor section, simply click Next assuming there are no other applications to monitor on this node. Verify all information entered is accurate and then click OK, Add Node. Once added, navigate to the SAM Summary page and under All Applications, expand App Insight for IIS. Expand the tree view of the newly added node and click on Microsoft IIS. Within the Configure IIS Server for Monitoring window, enter your credentials for monitoring IIS and click Configure Server. Back on the SAM Summary page, open the App Insight for IIS tree. Here you will see all your IIS servers and their status. Here we see Lab DMZ web server has an issue. When I click into this server, I see a lot of information. I can immediately see that the YAF app pool and the DNN website have stopped. To the right, I see that the virtual server and the host this application is on are performing well. So it is clear that this issue is probably related to the site and app pool. When I click on the website, I can see that the app pool is running but the website is stopped. From here, I can quickly start it. You can also start or unmanage app pools in a similar fashion. There is a lot of other information on your IIS server that you can see in the App Insight for IIS dashboard, including connections. If there is a drop in connections, that would be a big cause for concern. But you also want to track an uptrend in connections, because that could mean you need to perform some load balancing. You can also get insights to slow page load times that could be caused by the web server execution or a database query. If you are having issues with your application pools, you can look at the worker process information to troubleshoot your issue. Statistics collected include worker process failures, CPU, memory and IOP load, as well as worker process cache details. On this server, when I look at the environment view, I can see this IAS server is performing well. Because I also have other SolarWinds products installed, I also see the user experience of this application is suffering. And looking across the application stack, the array that supports this application is in a warning status. I can get ahead of this issue and contact my storage admin before the user experience grinds to a crawl. To learn more about the features of Server and Application Monitor and obtain a free 30-day trial, please go to solarwinds.com forward slash SAM.